Preparing Marine units to meaningfully contribute to naval combat is no longer an experiment. It's no longer an option. It's a warfighting imperative. The Commandant talks about uh, the Marine Corps as part of a naval expeditionary force that's designed primarily to contribute to combat in the maritime littorals. Steel Knight provides not only a venue to experiment with new technologies and future operating concepts, but to test out now our ability to, in partnership with the Navy, operate as a navally integrated warfighting organization in that future fight. Well, Steel Knight's important to the Navy and the Navy Marine Corps team, first and foremost, to, to improve our naval integration. When we bring the Navy Marine Corps team together, and then working on the sea denial sea control and its contributions to the air domain, you know, you see where those contributions then are vital and essential for the joint force to be able to achieve their objectives, to understand and sense the domain from seabed to space, and then to be able to affect those domains in order to win the fight uh, as a joint team. I tend to focus on the opportunities to develop the, the Marines and sailors within the division. If you want to improve a warfighting formation, you bring talented Marines and sailors together and you present them with a series of challenging problems that may be just outside what they believe they can do. The greatest output of Steel Knight is more proficient more capable uh, Marines and sailors, which are the strength of this division. This is a, a truly fascinating uh, and awesome time to be a United States Marine.